like no shade to the baby dolls, but I really like this from IMC Toys. Like the doll circle and thank you so much to IMC Toys for sending me this new series to BFF doll. I'm so excited to open her because I actually did not open any of the series one on camera. <laughs> I have some of the series one dolls. I will show you some of the series one dolls, but I'm very excited just to go and show you how the packaging works, how you open them, and then also let you know that there are six dolls in series two that is out. And here are the dolls in the back. And the one that they sent me, let me see if I can get her name. I think her name is, is it Bruni? Bruni? B-R-U-N-Y. I think it's how you say Bruni. <laughs> I don't know, but these are so cute. I love Ella. It looks like a little strawberry. So there are six in this series or wave two. Now these are kind of fun. I mean, they're definitely for a younger age demo because the package, as you can see, rolls here back and forth. And you can have her in like different like little outfits and stuff. I mean, I don't know what they call this rolling device, but I've seen it before in like, I want to say like <laughs> playgrounds where you can rotate things. I don't know what it's called, but I like that they did it on the packaging. It makes it something interesting, right? Now, I'm not particularly a huge fan, as I've said before, of surprise dolls anymore. I feel like we've had it. They've come and gone. But if you are going to do a surprise tour like IMC Toys is doing, at least they're doing something different with the package instead of it just being like a box and you're like, what doll are you getting? Even though you know what doll you're getting, at least they're making the package somewhat interactive. <laughs> and I like that you can keep the package after because I, I have one here from series one and you can keep the tube later and you can keep the doll in the tube. So you can keep the tubes later on for storage purposes or just if you collect it. Um, but like I said, here is the package. This is what it looks like when it's on the shelf. I'm interested though, did any of you buy series one when it came out last summer, which I think it's been a full year almost since they hit, I think, well, no, I think they're out like July, August. So almost a full year they've been out. So it's cool. I guess they're doing really well because they already have series two out. So let's open up this again. I'm going to hopefully, hopefully her name is Bruni and I'm not saying it totally incorrectly, but if not, she's Bruni to me. So let's open up Bruni. <laughs> All right, so when you open up the package, this is what the inside of the cardboard packaging looks like. So it looks like a little room. I was going to say like a closet. I would say I would say closet. So this is Dream Big, Be Happy. I see little dragons in the background. Like maybe she's really into like Game of Thrones or something. You know, <laughs> who is it? And then there is a list. Oh, and this slides out. Okay, cool. So this one has this little slide out insert. She has a headband, which again, little dragon moment and a little box down here. And then of course, here is the doll in the tube. And you just pull the tube out of the box. And then here we have the doll. And then you cut along the top to get the doll out. So after you cut the tape, you pull, it's like pulling the doll out of the chamber. <laughs> Noises, right? Uh, <laughs> she's wrapped in tissue paper. <gasps> oh, okay. Well, maybe I should have been holding her when I took her out. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> ah, okay. We love a little static hair moment in this tube. Oh my gosh. She like... <laughs> back on the table. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I hit your face. Okay, so how it was supposed to come out was a lot more smoother, but the clip for the <laughs> stand <laughs> gave out. So, okay, so this is what she looks like in the stand. Okay, so she was on the stand and I dropped her. She's really cute. I love the blue hair. Their hair on these dolls are very, very soft. I mean, as you can see here, very silky smooth. I love her little pigtails. I love the blue and the pink and her eyes. So these dolls have inset plastic eyes. If I had to compare them to something, they remind me a little bit of like the toddler dolls, um, the Disney toddler dolls a little bit where they have like the glass kind of inset eyes. I think she is so cute and I like this size of doll. We don't see this size too often. Um, I guess I could say kind of similar to like the LL tweens a little bit in that kind of size bracketing. I think she is so cute. She has these cute little pajamas on with little hearts all over it. I like them a lot. Like I honestly am sad I did not do a series one video on them, but that's okay because here we are doing series two. She does have articulation in the elbows, in the wrists, so really good articulation there, and in the knees, not the feet, but Honestly, it's still a lot of articulation for this size doll. Also, the only thing, so yeah, the articulation is really good, but she does not have head articulation. She can only go left or right with that, which mm, 
is again in this price point I can't complain because overall I think she's super cute um but yeah so just left to right not full like head tilting articulation in her and then she also has let me show you some painted on underwear so it kind of looks like a swimsuit with the top a little bit so if you do plan on taking like pictures of her like at the beach she kind of looks like she has a swimsuit with her top on there and then it does match her fanny pack the top almost perfectly and honestly the weight is really good because you know me I always gotta be like this doll feel like a weighty doll I love it like I think she's really cute the face is a little interesting like I feel like it's kind of like a crybaby if any of you have ever purchased those I have done videos on them so I'll try to remember to link them somewhere uh but they I don't know they just look they look better than the baby dolls <laughs> I don't want to say it in a mean way, like, no shade to the baby dolls, but I really like this from IMC Toys. Like, IMC, if you're watching this, do more of this. Like, this is really cute. Like, they're really cute dolls. Like, I really think they're so adorable. All right, so let's get into the pieces. All right, so it did come with a checklist, I believe, or is it a poster? A poster. So, oh, she's so cute. I think she's really cute on this picture. I love that. And then obviously it shows you how to take the doll out, which I dropped her, but she's supposed to come out very gently. And inside of this little closet is supposed to be her outfit. So you pop open the closet and inside the closet is her pieces. All right, let me get her dressed. Okay, struggling a little bit. <laughs> I don't think their hands pop off like you know like rainbow high and like monster high hands do um this is gonna take me a while airy took multiple minutes off camera trying to get this jacket on um this is recommended for agents three and up you know how little kids are just magic on things maybe they can get the arms through but the jacket is super cute it's supposed to be very much like you as you can see dragon themed going throughout this doll i like the use of really shiny like it's not just printed on fabric but <laughs> we have different kinds of fabric like obviously these are like embedded in the fabric i don't know how to like i guess printed would be kind of the word to use on this but at least there's different textures of fabric okay that's what i'm trying to say different textures of fabric and you know they're trying i think it's cute and they have like a little zipper on the front and it's actual plastic so hmm, we have they're trying okay they're trying and then for the little fanny pack she's a little fanny pack and then she does come with glasses which I'm not a huge fan of the glasses on her like I'm not going to display her with the glasses but I want to show you that they do come with glasses she has come with a little plastic jeweled necklace the shoes are super cute though the shoes the shoes I'm loving the shoes are really cute overall though I, the jacket I'm having so much trouble getting her hands through and her hands are not really big or bulky but just trying to get through that little lining of fabric here has given me a little bit of a moment to say the least. <laughs> now I want to show you because like I said I do have some from series one and I'm just comparing them. They're honestly the same moldings and everything like they're nothing really super advanced. It's just that they gave us different fashions this time around. So like this one's from series one that I have and then there's this one which is I just love her pink hair. She comes with a cowboy hat but I ended up not not keeping the cowboy hat on uh, but I have one with pink hair and stuff they're so cute like I honestly really really enjoy these like I said they have really good weight to them they don't feel like something they don't feel like a knockoff doll <laughs> and I'm trying to say that the nicest way again being transparent before somebody who goes and orders this doll and like you know you see a lot of dolls that come out left and right right and we want to make sure when we're buying something that we know what we're about to buy and with this one like i said there's a really good weight to it the articulation is good oh let me compare it with a tween for you so you can see the size so the tweens are a little bit smaller but just to give you like a size comparison see look feet to feet there we get a good extra inch and a half almost on top on the bffs now on i heart I heart reviewing stuff on Instagram actually changed the clothes on these dolls with Cave Club and that was really super cute. So these clothes do fit on Cave Club dolls, which I thought was a really interesting little thing if you have some Cave Club dolls lying around. At least I cannot talk about how much I, I don't know, something about them makes me like them. I don't know if I'm just really a sucker for inset eyes because I am. And I like the fact that they have articulation for a $20 price point. I think these are totally worth it. And again, the hair is very, on all of them, very, very soft. And then I'm gonna show you one thing I really love from series one. They have real scrunchies in the hair. Real scrunchies. 
<laughs> yes. Now, Target does, does have or did have Series 1 already out. When I went toy hunting last time, I didn't see Series 2 yet. So, but I'm sure they'll probably be coming out. I don't remember seeing them at Walmart, but I have seen them, like I said, at Target. So, check them out. I highly recommend them. Thank you so much to IMC Toys for sending me one. If you want to send me all of them, that's perfectly fine too. Because <laughs> I think they're just so super cute. Especially the one with the strawberries. Very cute. And you can keep the box as well as like a little play set. I'm not personally, but these are recommended for, I think, three and up. Yeah, three and up. So someone probably around three would still play with the inner of the box. I do keep the tubes on some of them. I only kept it on this one because um, this is Jenna. Jenna. And I kept her tube just because I thought it looked cool. But now I'm definitely going to keep Bruni? Bruni? I'm going to say Bruni. I'm definitely going to keep Bruni's tube too. I just think they're super cute. There you go. That was my review. Super cute. <laughs> so until next time, check out all of my social media, everything on this in the description below. And yeah, I'm kind of all over the place. I did my makeup because I'm going to work here soon because I work at night on some weekends. So I'm like, I have my makeup on. I'm going to film before I go to work. <laughs> so until next time, like I said, check all the stuff for me in the description below. Also check me out on Whatnot, where I'll be letting some of my collection go to get more of these dolls. Because <laughs> these are really cute. I don't know what it is. I just think they're so so different so different i love it all right bye everybody <laughs>